welcome to Comcast Local Edition. I'm Karen Francis. Well, the health of our waterways is one of our most important responsibilities. And here to tell us about a way that you can become involved in making sure that those waterways stay safe and clean are John Rothrock and Alex, Alex Venegas. Uh, John is the technical director and Alex is the executive director of Friends of the Occoquan. So good to have both of you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Alex, let's start off with you. Tell us about Friends of the Occoquan. How long have you been in existence and what kind of an organization? Who are you? Okay. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization whose mission is to preserve and maintain the natural integrity of the Occoquan watershed. Uh, we've been around since 1999. Uh, we started as because we noticed that there was a need for some organization to bring people together in the community to clean up the Occoquan River. And that's how we, we started off. Uh, small with a group of about 20 people mm -hmm. and now we're up to as many as 280 people that help us in the process. Okay, obviously people, John, who are really concerned about the Agaquan and, and, and what it looks like, you have a cleanup coming up. Tell us about that and then we'll go on to some of the other aspects of what Friends of the Agaquan does. On April 2nd, uh, we meet with boats, people coming by foot and by car um, to at the various stop places, mm -hmm. which is um, uh, Bull Run, uh, Fountainhead, and Lake Ridge. Lake Ridge. Mm -hmm. um, we, and, and this is for a cleanup. <clears throat> this is for a cleanup. Mm -hmm. Everybody shows up. Uh, we hand out supplies for them to collect mm -hmm. <clears throat> debris, and we drop off groups of people at certain stop points. Okay, and um, this is at the, it starts at the Bull Run Marina and the Lake Ridge Marina and, and, and the regional park? That's correct. Okay, and there's a, there's a telephone number right now and a website that's, uh, uh, that's up if people want to become involved in, in this particular effort. But Alex, th this is one of many cleanups you do, I understand. Can you sort of tell us the, the range of activities and how many, uh, maybe give us some information about some of the other cleanups you've done so people have a sense of what they're in for when they go for a cleanup? Okay, uh, usually we conduct two cleanups a year and uh, usually we have anywhere from 120 up to 280 people that come out and help us in the process and we pick up uh, just a variety of debris from from the Occoquan uh, barrels, tires, a variety of trash. Okay, uh, right right now on the screen we have, is this trash you, you picked up from w what area of the this, Occoquan? This was the Fountainhead uh, Regional Park mm -hmm. and as you can see we've got a variety of trash, debris, radiators. I mean, it's incredible the things that we pull from our drinking water supply. And it's, mm -hmm. um, that's one of the major activities that we conduct throughout the year. We also uh, do water quality monitoring, which we do May through October. We te test the Occoquan River for different uh, chemical parameters. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also engaged in uh, educational and outreach programs. Um, we go to schools, other civic association and local governments and talk to them about the importance of the Occoquan watershed. Okay, now John, let, let's, uh, let me sort of shift over to you. The uh, sort of underlying all this is, is not only sort of health and safety but aesthetics. You know, talk to me about what happens if we don't clean up the Occoquan. I mean, what, basically what, what happens to our sense of our connection to this river? Well, if you turn your computer off and push yourself away from it and go out canoeing on the Occoquan, you can get a breath of life out there. Uh, canoeing through trash is no longer fashionable, mm -hmm. um, and it's a thing of the past on the Occoquan since we've been cleaning it up for the last nine years. Mm -hmm. um, the, the appreciation that the kids have, the fishermen have from uh, fishing in a nice clean cove is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, it's just something that I think everybody should appreciate. Okay, well John Rothrock and Alex Venegas, thank you so much for being with us and telling us about the importance mm -hmm. of this incredible river. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. And thank you for being with us on Comcast Local Edition. Until next time, I'm Karen Francis.